Yeah, what are people I go by the name Bright Kwame Apia, known in the industry as the Almighty Street Beats. And today, behind the beats with TCA, I'm making um, this song called The Gin and Lime by Daku Vibes and Kim Promise. The remix was by my very own One God. Uh, actually, this is how this song came about. We were in the studio and he decided to say, Oh, Charlie, and your and I was like, Come on, let's take something. So we decided to take Gin and Lime. That's how the song came. Normally, it depends on the vibe. I, I mean, I decide to, I can start with a kick, a snare, a bass, but this one I decided to choose the classic guitar. So this is how uh, it all started. So let's go. So real quick then I have to add a, a low octave to this just to keep the groove groovable for the masses, you understand? So This adds up to the to the classic guitar groove. So in the beginning I had this. So after this I decided to get something, a tone that will just punch in a little. So I had to um, get a piano and add this after it, so listen up. Sometimes it's hard and confusing in choosing the beats. So uh, let me say with the, f the, first, the first tone I used comes from the sampler, which is already in Logic. So this time around, I'll go for Nexus. Uh, yeah, so I'll choose Nexus 3 for this one, choosing the, um, um, a piano from a uh, dance lead two it has this okay so okay so i'll add this to it then right now we will get the vibe way the move the african way but still you know the tones are not ours, so. Okay, so now I'll just go straight and add up. Uh, I'll add up um, a clap to it first, just to keep the groove going before I add bass and all those stuff, so. So with this, I decided to move to um, the the kick drum. So basically, uh, to make things simple, I decided to drop it one by one. You know, I can't make this beat taking Africa out. I'll choose a percussion from African kits, which is Ultra Beats, already installed in Logic. So, let's see. Okay, this in with this with this um, plugin, most of the tones are made in uh, uh, loops. So I just arrange them 
in a way which will make like sense at the long run. So let's listen up. So with this point, I, I thought of why don't I get something like a groove, which I was thinking it wouldn't be any percussions anymore. Why don't it be maybe a hi-hat loop or a shaker? So I went ahead and chose the, the shaker 17. We're on the groove. So now the almighty bass should be added to it and choose a basic synth, which is small. So so I just have this and decide to edit it a little. This is the main structure of the beat. And there is one tone whereby I I had to wait most of the time. That's what I do. I wait for some time for the artist to sing. And that will give me the vibe to add something up. So this is what happened. After the echo singing, this very part, I wait to hear something. Then that, I call it call and respond. Anything they say, I respond with something. For people to understand the main, the main idea behind call and respond. Uh -huh. So this is just the voice and what I responded with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. to do me like Yeah. This is the beat, yeah. But there's one thing that like differentiates um, uh, the 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 pre-chorus with the chorus and with the verses. So I have something. I have this um, sample called um, "Attacks Dead." So this is how it sounds. And that one, if you knock inside, no, then you see everything change. Yes. No, I think I have to get that and give him this melody as well. So basically, this is the whole beat. Thanks for having me, TCA. And don't forget, my people, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button all the time. You're done, no cheatiness. I go by the name Street Beats again. Shit! Subscribe. And also press this bell icon.